Really no surprise, but City Council did go ahead and vote through new zoning restrictions on retail cannabis shops in city limits 7 to 2. You might be thinking, we don't currently allow rec marijuana in Colorado Springs, which is true, but voters will be weighing in on the issue this November. And the city councilwoman behind this effort has told me before that the zoning restriction, it's a fallback in case voters do approve retail marijuana. We don't want to look like Denver. Denver's out of control. You see the recreational marijuana stores right down the street from schools, hospitals. Look what it's happened to Denver. And I do want to point out Denver does have laws in effect that prevent cannabis shops to operate within 1,000 feet of schools, child care facilities, and drug and alcohol treatment centers, along with many other types of facilities. Now, this new Colorado Springs zoning law means if retail marijuana is approved by voters, the shops can only operate a mile from the nearest school, child care, or drug and alcohol treatment facility, which, if you look at this map here, leaves only small portions of city limits just outside the blue there on the eastern side of the city as an option. That's why critics of this move called it a de facto ban and potentially going against the will of the voters. This is hypocrisy. You need to see it. Let the people speak and let them vote. That is as simple as it is. And quit going back on your word. That's not fair to anyone else, and it's definitely not fair to your constituents. And city councilors in support of this move have said it's to protect children from the harms of marijuana and to protect the city's relationship with the national security community. But this does come as the drug is in the process of being moved into a less severe Schedule 3 category on the federal level, with Governor Polis pointing to data that youth use of cannabis has decreased since legalization.